Hey everyone, welcome back to Save File with Mike here with another reaction slash review. No, this one is just a reaction because this is a song that I have not heard before. This request actually came from one of my best friends. Thanks, Megan. Um, I know nothing about this band. I have not heard of Pine Grove before. So the song that I'm reacting to is called Darkness. It's by Pine Grove, apparently off of the album Skylight. And that's, uh, that's all I've got to go on, um, except for the fact that I generally trust Megan's music taste. Uh, it aligns pretty well with my own. So I'm guessing I'll like this, but hey, who knows? I don't. I'm not going to know until I hit play, which I'm going to do in just a second after I turn it down just a pinch. All right, and here we go. It's got a load. This is probably not a good song to listen to right now. So, it follows a trend of a lot of music that I used to listen to when I was younger, and even now, it's music that sounds relatively happy and or upbeat, but then when you listen to the lyrics, you're like, wow, this is actually uh, pretty depressing. And that's probably what they're trying to get across here. A, a big part of, let me get closer to the microphone, a big part of depression and dealing with it, suffering from it, is just faking everything you know it, it's still kind of taboo to talk about being depressed and therapy and all that stuff and people feel ashamed to talk about things like that like you know here i am a guy talking to a webcam in his room to potentially a lot of people or potentially just one and you know i suffer from a depression quite a bit um, you know, it's just, and you want to be able to talk about it, but you've been conditioned to think that it's weak, you know, it's a weakness or that it's something that shouldn't be talked about because, you know, for me, I don't want to bring other people down with the fact that I'm depressed or, you know, I don't want to just make a big deal out of myself because, you know, who am I to burden other people with my problems when they've clearly got problems of their own and mine are probably not that big a deal it's just my mind tricking me into thinking that everything's terrible so i don't know it's it's something that's hard to deal with and you know, music like this is something that usually helps you through that process quite a bit
And it's still, like, despite being relatively upbeat, it's definitely got a somber tone to it, so it, it definitely has that message as well. The instrumentation in that song as well was very, very good. Um, it had a lot, especially the interlude, gave me a lot of post-rock vibes, which is a genre that I'm very into, but it's kind of hard to cover because it's purely instrumental, and I feel like that's, you know, I might do it in the future, but that's something a lot of people are probably like, eh, about. Um, but it had a lot of... The guitar in it was just very nice and pretty gentle, um... And it had that vibe of, the song had that vibe of what I would call contentedness, like the way that the lyrics meshed with the instrumentation kind of gave it almost a feeling of neutralness, whereas the lyrics were very somber and depressing. The music itself was relatively pretty and uplifting. So when you put them together, you end up with a very neutral feeling song emotionally speaking at least to me um which you know again kind of relates to that theme of depression and fighting through depression how you kind of deal with it and how you a lot of the time just end up feeling very very neutral very blah you go through those periods where you're super sad and super upset and then it goes away and you start to feel normal for a little while, but eventually it all just kind of settles down to this very gray feeling how, you know, ev everything fades to gray, red fades to gray, black fades to gray. It just becomes neutral and you feel very even about everything, which isn't necessarily bad but it's not great either so yeah i don't know um i'd have to kind of dive deeper into the lyrics which you know maybe i should have done earlier in the song but it was good and you know at this point with the way i'm feeling in my personal life it was very fitting to listen to at this moment but yeah i did i'd be interested in checking out more um it's kind of different from the things I'm listening to right now, which it's something I always search for. So, 
Thank you for the suggestion, Megan. Hopefully you watch this video since you gave me the song. And that's all I have to say about that for now. Uh, please check out my other videos if you feel so inclined. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that stuff. I don't have any other outlets, outlet for this material except this channel right now. I would also like to plug the podcast that my friends and I play. We play the, uh, the role less taken where we are currently using the weave system by the monocle society. We're using the solar age setting where we are in space doing space type things. You can find the role less taken on Spotify, Google, iTunes, Stitcher, most places where you can find podcasts. Roll is spelled R-O-L-E. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram at The Roll Less Taken. And Instagram at Roll Less Taken. R-O-L-L-E. And I think that's about it for now. So thank you for watching, everyone. And as always, be kind to one another, please. Thank you, and have a good day. at Roll Less Taken on and on Instagram. On Twitter at Roll Less Taken. In all those cases, Roll is spelt R-O-L-E. And you can find the actual podcast on Spotify, Google, Amazon, uh, Stitcher, pretty much anywhere you can find podcasts. So if you could check that out, I'd really appreciate it. And thank you for watching. Again, leave those suggestions for me. I will be watching for them. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good day, everyone, and be kind to each other, damn it.